Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Autograph Collection. It's time now for Autograph Diaries 2020, episode three. I hope you enjoy. Today is Monday the 13th of January, my brother's 18th birthday. Happy birthday, Reese, if you're watching. Which you're not, because you don't subscribe to my channel, but I thought it was a happy birthday to you anyway, just because I'm a legend. But anyway, today I received one autograph in the post, which as you can see, I've opened off camera. It was actually a via venue pantomime success from November 2019 from singer and actor Gareth Gates. Now, this is a massive shock to me because I've written to Gareth a few times in the past and I've never received a reply. So I thought, fuck it, I'm going to try one last time. If you don't reply, then it can get fucked. And he's actually replied. So I'm actually over the moon with this. Looks absolutely amazing, sounding gold. He could have personalised it, I won't lie, but he didn't, so whatever. But I'm very happy to add him to my collection anyway. I love Gareth. He was my favourite contestant on Pop High Dove years ago. He came second to Will Young. Although I don't really like Will Young as much. Gareth Gates is amazing, so. But yeah, I'm very happy with this. If you're a long time subscriber to my channel, you'll know that I do, of course, already have Gareth's autograph in my collection. Because a few friends of mine kindly gifted me autographs from him. But yeah, this is my very first from my own, so I'm very happy with this. Via venue success from the amazing Gareth Gates. Thank you, Gareth. Today is Wednesday the 15th of January, and today I received three envelopes of autographs in the post. As you can see, I'm going to open them on camera for you, so let's find out who they're from. So I'm going to start with this one here, which as you can see is dated November 2019 and is a via venue success. So I'm assuming this is another pantomime success. So let's find out who. It is. Oh my god, it's Jenna Russell. Cool. So I know Jenna best for playing Michelle in EastEnders, and I've wrote to her several times at EastEnders and I never received a reply. Obviously she's no longer in the show, so I thought when I seen her in pantomime, I thought I'd try her again. Obviously this time it's actually paid off, and I'm very happy with this. So she signed this photo just here, and also this Albert Square Queen Victoria photo. And yeah, I'm very happy with this. I love Jenna so much. She's such an amazing actress. She should definitely come back to EastEnders. I loved her as Michelle. And yeah, I'm very happy to finally add Jenna to my collection. So the first autograph I received today is a via venue pantomime success from Jenna Russell. Thank you, Jenna. Time now for the second envelope, which as you can see is dated January 2020 and is a private address success. Now, as it's a private address, I can't share the address, so please don't ask. So let's find out who it's from, shall we? Oh my god. This one's going to be hard to open. Let's try and do it this way. It's Julie Walters. And I only wrote to her literally on Monday. So it took two days. So that's amazing. So Julie signed this photo just here of her in Paddington as Mrs. Baird. To Daniel, best wishes, Julie Walters. Thank you, Julie. This photo just here of her in Brave. To Daniel, best wishes, Julie Walters. And she also signed my Paddington DVD sleeve, which was previously signed by Hugh Bonneville and Jim Broadbent. To Daniel, best wishes, Julie Walters. I'm very happy with the success. I love Julie very much. As you may know, I also got her a few weeks ago, so I couldn't resist trying her again. Very happy to add her on to this. It looks absolutely amazing, signed by three people. And yeah, I'm very happy to add her to my Disney collection and also I get a photo signed of Paddington because it's one of my favourite films. And yeah, I'm very happy with this. Private address success from the amazing Julie Walters. Thank you, Julie. Time now for the third and final envelope, which as you can see is also dated January 2020 and is also a private address success. So again, I can't share the address for who this is, so please don't ask. But let's find out who it's from, shall we? Is Jerry Halliwell. So she signed this photo just here, Daniel Love Jerry, which I'm very happy with. She signed this photo just here, Love Jerry. This photo just here, Daniel Love Jerry. This photo just here, Daniel Love Jerry. This photo just here, Daniel Love Jerry. And this photo just here, Love Jerry. And if that wasn't enough, she's also sent me an envelope with my name on, which I'm assuming is a thank you card. So let's have a look. I'm gonna open it off camera and read it off camera first. So let's have a look. Oh, how cute's that card? It's a hedgehog. Oh, bless her. Dear Daniel, thank you for your letter and for your support. Wishing you the best for your future. Love, Jerry. 
very happy with this. I absolutely love Jerry Halliwell. She's my favourite Spice Girl. Well, kind of. My favourite. She's my joint favourite with Victoria Beckham. So, yeah. But, yeah, as you can see, she signed six photos for me. Absolutely love these. I'm probably going to potentially sell one. Probably this one. We'll see. But, yeah, I'm very happy with this. Didn't think she'd reply, especially not this quick. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, I'm very happy with this. Private address success from the amazing Jerry Halliwell. Thank you, Jerry. Today is Thursday the 16th of January, and today I received six envelopes of autographs in the post. Now, as you can see, I can only open three of them on camera because the other three had the sender's address on the back. They were all eBay purchases, so I'm going to show you those first. The first of which is this CD, signed by Katie Price and Peter Andre. Now, for those of you who don't know, I absolutely love Katie Price. She's one of my favourite celebrities. I've actually had the pleasure of meeting her in the past. I've also seen Peter Andre live in a stage production of Grease. I actually love these guys so much. Obviously, they're no longer together. They got divorced a few years ago. So when I saw this pop up on eBay quite cheap, I thought, fuck it, let's just get it for my collection. I do actually have a copy of this album already, unsigned. But now I have a signed one, so yes. For those of you who are interested, that's the track listing. My favourite song on this is Best Things Life for Free. And I also love I've Had the Time of My Life. But yeah, I'm very happy to add this to my collection. It's not my first autograph from Katie, and it's not my first autograph from Pete, but it is my first autograph of them together. So yeah, the first autograph I received today is Katie Price and Peter Andre. The second envelope I received today was another eBay purchase, this time containing an autograph from comedian and TV presenter Jenny Eclair. Now, I know Jenny best for being one of the loose women. I think she was on it a few years ago. I'm not entirely sure though. But I also know her for her comedy work. And not only that, I also know her for her vaginal dryness, because apparently... She's the face of Vajisan, which, wonderful. Every night I'm trying to watch Coronation Street. All I see on my teller is Jenny Eclair talking about her dry minge. Lovely. But yeah, I thought, fuck it, why not get this? It was only about £2 on eBay, so I thought, yeah, get in my basket, get in my collection, why the fuck not? And yeah, I'm very happy with it. I know she does reply to TTM, but I can't be asked to write to her, to be honest. And I ain't being funny, I don't want a free tube of fanny cream, so fuck that. So I thought, why not buy this? So yeah, the second autograph I received today is Jenny Eclair. The third envelope I received today also contained an eBay purchase, this time of Thelma Barlow. Now, I know Thelma best for being in Doctor Who, that's what this photo is for. She played Lady Thor in the 2007 episode, The Lazarus Experiment. But she's also well known for lots of other things, and I believe she might have been in Coronation Street many years ago. Not that I'm 100% sure. But when I saw this on eBay for... I've no idea how much, to be honest. It was really cheap. But I thought, fuck it, let's get it for my collection. I ain't got Thelma Barlow. She's a legend. She's going to die soon, because she's quite old. But, yeah, so fuck it, let's just get it. So, yeah, I'm very happy to add Thelma Barlow to my collection. So, yeah, third autograph was Thelma Barlow. And now one of the on-camera openings. So I'm going to start with this envelope here, which, as you can see, is dated August 2018. So this has been out over a year. What the fuck? I've no idea who this could be, so let's find out, shall we? Is. Oh my god, it's Saran Jones. Oh my god. So she signed this Doctor Who photo for me. Love Saran Jones. Cool. She signed this photo here. Love Saran Jones. Cool. And this photo here. Love Saran Jones. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. I completely forgot about this. And I completely gave up hope back in August 2018. Because I thought, fuck it, she ain't gonna reply to me. But obviously she has many moons later. I absolutely love Saran Jones, she's one of my favourite actresses. I know her best for Coronation Street, I also know her for Doctor Who, and lots of things to be honest. She's just such an incredible actress. And yeah, I'm very happy to add her to my collection again. This is my very first ever reply from her. I do have an eBay purchase of this photo, I think, so I might sell that one. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm very happy with this. TTM success that took a fucking long ass time from Saran Jones. Thank you, Saran. Time now for the fifth autograph. As you can see, it's January 2020 success and it's from Dancing on Ice. So finally, I've got a reply from one of the contestants. Let's find out which one. It is. Oh my God, it's Perry Kyler. What the fuck? To Daniel, thanks for the support. Love Perry Kyler. Oh my God. Perry Kyler. Oh my Christ, what the fuck? 
And again, Perry Kylie. Now, I'm not going to lie to you, I completely did not expect to get a reply from Perry. I've written to Perry and the rest of the Diversity Boys many times in the past, and I've never had a fucking reply from any of them. I've even seen them on this tour. I've seen them in Leicester at the Matford Hall on Halloween last year. And, yeah, tried to meet them, didn't happen. Wrote to them at the show, didn't happen. Thought, fuck it, not going to get them. But fuck me, Perry's replied to me via Dancing on Ice. I'm very happy with this. My brother's going to be so jealous because he loves him so much. He idolises Perry. But yeah, I'm extremely happy with this. Someone I never thought I'd get in my collection. What the fuck? So yeah. Perry Kylie. Thank you, Perry. And time now for the sixth and final envelope. As you can see, it's dated January 2020 and there's another Dancing on Ice success. So let's find out which other celebrity has replied to me this time. It is Lisa George. To Danielle, love Lisa George, cool. And she's also signed this photo as well. Thanks, Danielle, Lisa George. Now, of course, I do have Lisa's autograph in my collection several times, but because she's on Dancing on Ice, I couldn't resist writing to her. I thought she was brilliant on Dancing on Ice as well, and I can't wait to see her progress as the show goes on. But of course, I know her best for playing Beth Tinker in Coronation Street. And yeah, I'm very happy to add her to my collection again. TTM success from the amazing Lisa George. Thank you, Lisa. So today's autographs were Lisa George, Perry Kylie, Saran Jones, Selma Barlow, Jenny Eclair and her vaginal dryness, and Katie Price and Peter Andre. Thanks, guys. Today is Friday the 17th of January, and today I received one envelope of autographs in the post. I have opened it off camera though, as you can see, so I'm just going to show you what it is. It was actually a TTM success from October 2019, from actress Gillian Anderson. Gillian finally signed the photo I've sent to her three times, and I've always had it returned unsigned, but she's finally done it. So I'm very happy with this. As you can see, it's signed just there, Gillian Anderson. And I'm very, very happy. It looks absolutely amazing. Of course, I do have Gillian's autograph in my collection a few times already. But like I said, I've sent this photo to her several times with another photo. And she's always declined to sign this one. So I thought, fuck it, I'm going to send it again one last time. Get it signed once and for all. And here we are. For those of you who don't know who Gillian is, she's an actress best known for things like The Fall, Sex Education, which is such an amazing show, highly recommend it, love it so much, funny as fuck. And also, The X-Files. And yeah, I'm very happy to add it to my collection again. TTM success from the amazing Gillian Anderson. Thank you, Gillian. So there we go. Those are all of the autographs that I received this week. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.